Hi, this is Monica and uh, today I will be uh, doing a tutorial on how to paint uh, blue bonnets. These were growing in my backyard and I was really really thrilled about it because I am a horrible horrible gardener. I pretty much kill everything that I try to grow. So this was a real pleasant surprise. And since I've never painted blue bonnets before and I live in Texas now and it's the Texas state flower, I thought um, you know, I should paint it. So this is my first attempt actually painting this flower. Um, after observing the flower for some time and taking a good photograph of it, uh, this is how I did it. I loaded my 12 flat with yellow and green and on my chisel edge I just pulled in the stems. Then I did the tops of these like you see me paint right now with small daisy strokes, yellow on top, green at the bottom. and. Uh, just made small daisy stro strokes and made the top of the unopened buds. Then I started making the leaves. Now I found that the leaves are very, very uh, unusual in blue bonnets because they are like five segments, almost looking like a flower themselves. You know, it's like five uh, leaves. So that's what I'm trying to represent here. It has slightly pointy tops because the leaves are very n narrow and long. Uh, and thin and uh, there are five segments and they come together so that's what uh, I'm painting in now uh, in this painting frankly speaking it is the leaves that took a longer time and requires a certain amount of accuracy to be able to get the stroke right so if you ask me this would probably require the maximum amount of practice uh, to get the leaves correct uh, it actually took me a longer time to paint than what uh, is being shown in the video because I have increased the speed so uh, probably you know 10 to 15 minutes uh, to just paint the leaves now I'm starting the uh, flowers I've uh, loaded a 10 brush you could use an 8 also if you find it hard to use a 10 brush to do such small strokes um, I've loaded my brush with cobalt blue uh, and just put my brush into um, a little bit of violet pansy and white once in a while. You can even use a uh, light violet, uh, lavender, any of the other folk art uh, violets will be great to be um, uh, a small addition to the blue. Now if you notice the starting part of it are just small dots and then I've started actually putting structures to the flower. Uh, blue bonnets are like long stems with multiple small flowers all around that main stem so you have flowers in every direction uh, because of that you have flowers in different angles and so it would be best not to try to kind of represent everything as a four petal flower um, facing front because actually very few of them will be facing front they're mostly towards the sides and there'll be only those one or two uh, flowers in the in the rows that are like facing us where all the four petals will be visible so uh, that's what you're seeing me do here I've just put in uh, easy just flat strokes uh, making the flowers the flowers were very um, easy to paint it took very little time and it was pretty fun to do uh, I don't think you should stress out much on the flowers and just enjoy uh, putting them in there with some fluid strokes and not really bother too much about getting everything uh, perfect. Since it's a cluster flower just like hydrangeas um, and there isn't any uh, specific uh, concentration point like a big flower with a center uh, it's easier to get away with smaller mistakes since your eyes don't have exactly one point to rest on. Um, that's why I love painting hydrangeas too because they are very forgiving flower and I find that blue bonnets are too. If you just practice a little bit you'll find that it's a pretty easy flower to paint. So you see I am adding some white highlights here and there. I just picked up white on the dirty brush and went ahead and put some white highlights there. Now I'm painting in the centers. Now if you notice the centers on a blue bonnet, they're not really round and just a dot. It's like a rectangular space in between that's fully white and then there's a smaller center there. So 
that's what I'm representing here is that rectangular middle part. So you find that I have painted it as a line rather than a dot. Um, now I loading my script liner, the same script liner that I use for the centers with green and I'm just pulling in the stems to connect all the flowers. So nothing is kind of floating in the air and you know everything is connected and grounded to the main stem. So uh, that's what I'm doing here. Uh, I think after that I decided that I would like a few more leaves um, just to fill some of the gaps up. So I'm just going in there and I'm not really going and putting all the five uh, segments in. It's just like the indication of leaves here and there and at a distance. So just putting in a few strokes here and there. Um, not the entire structure like I was doing before. Then towards the end, I just added more buds. Probably something I'm wishing for. <laughs> there were only three flowers on mine, but I want many, many more. So I just decided to paint in a few more buds. And that's it. I'm done with the painting. I'm signing my name in blue. And I hope you enjoyed the video and will paint along with me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.